Hello Plantastics! Welcome to another episode. Today, we're delving into the world of the humble yet fascinating jackfruit tree or Articarpus heterophyllus. The jackfruit tree is believed to be native to the southwestern rainforests of India, but it is now cultivated in many tropical regions around the world. The jackfruit is the largest tree-borne fruit in the world, with some weighing up to 80 pounds. It is also incredibly versatile and can be eaten ripe, unripe, or as a meat substitute. It's considered an important tree in agroforestry due to its ability to provide food, timber, and medicine, as well as its potential to help combat climate change by sequestering carbon. The jackfruit tree is also known for its durability, and its wood is often used for making furniture, musical instruments, and even houses in some parts of the world. In some cultures, the jackfruit is considered a symbol of fertility, and the tree is often planted in home gardens to bring good luck and prosperity to the household. The jackfruit is rich in nutrients, particularly vitamin C, potassium, and dietary fiber. It is also a good source of antioxidants and may have anti-inflammatory properties. Jackfruit seeds are edible and are often boiled or roasted and eaten as a snack in some cultures. They can also be ground into a flour and used as a cooking ingredient. The jackfruit has a distinctive aroma, which has been described as a combination of pineapple, banana, and onion. Some people find the smell unpleasant, but it is beloved by many others. The jackfruit is a member of the same family as the fig and the mulberry. The fruit is actually a multiple fruit, meaning that it is formed from the fusion of multiple flowers. The latex from the jackfruit tree has traditionally been used as a natural adhesive and as a treatment for various ailments, including snake bites and skin problems. Thank you for joining us on Plantastics. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting journeys into the captivating world of plants and nature. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, there's always more to learn in the green mysteries of our world. See you in the next episode.